Hi, this is Serena LaRoche, and you have reached La La Roche Art. Today, I want to do some pearl creation recipes. Let's go in the studio and test it out. So what's a pearl recipe? Well, a pearl recipe makes these pearl cells in fluid art. Pearl cells are really nice little round cells that appear after you have mixed two different kinds of paint and the top paint has stretched and these little pearls pop through. Pearls can look like this, like little round cells, but they can also look like this if you choose to stretch those round cells after they have popped up. So I have up here a little info card on my regular pearl pour recipe, but today we're going to experiment with some different pouring mediums. I have PBO pouring medium. This is a glass pouring medium. I'm gonna experiment with that one. I also have golden gloss pouring medium, a great pouring medium, but I've never used it for pearls. I'm also gonna test out Liquitex pouring medium. Someone had asked if they could use that and I wasn't sure. And here's the one I always use, Artist Loft pouring medium for my pearls. All of these are gonna mix, be mixed with US Flood Flow Troll and that is going to make my pearl recipe. So I chose three fluorescent slash neon colors that are gonna make some really vibrant pearls. You won't be able to miss them when they pop through. Put a tiny little blob of these tube paints into the bottom of a cup. And I'm gonna show you how I mix that with my pouring mediums. First, I add about an equal part of the Floetrol as the paint, and then half a part of my gloss pouring medium. So I will do this for each of the different companies. And if you didn't get the recipe, it's down in the description. I mix it up very, very well. Um, and I want it to be a consistency that when it drips, I can see a little mound right there on this, the top of the paint. Um, so it's on the thicker scale of paint pouring consistencies. This is my pearl paint. Now let's look at our dump paint. I put some tube paint in there, an equal part of Floetrol and an equal part of water to really thin this down. This is gonna be very, very liquid, similar to paint that you would use in a Dutch pour. When I drip this paint, it does not make a mound. It just disappears right into the paint. And you can see how, how liquid it is when I move it back and forth with the popsicle stick. So this is my dump paint. So I have these three colors in the PBO. I have it in the golden. I'm gonna have it in the Liquitex, if we can get over here to the L's. And I'm so glad I labeled the cups because I, I did get them mixed up at some point. And right over here to the Artist Loft. So this is the one that I normally use and it's gonna get tested against the others. Here's my dump paint. I like to use several different colors of my dump paint. It's all Floetrol paint water and it's very, very liquid. So I went ahead and I set up four canvases and I'm gonna do the same pour for each of these canvases and just see how they compare. I just glopped on that pearl paint right there in kind of a circle, circular shape. I like to layer the paints so that as pearls pop up, I'm going to get variations of color in each of the pearls. Um, because these are each different pouring mediums, there was a bit of a different consistency in terms of the viscosity and the tackiness. But for the most part, I think if you just looked at it, it looked like they were all about the same paint. I put a lot of pearl paint and with the intention that we should get a lot of pearls. And if you don't like a lot of pearls, you could always use less paint. So there you go, I did these kind of bullseyes on each of the canvases. And now I'm going to top that off with my dump paint and hopefully there's a reaction. So I started with black on each of them. That's gonna be my dark. And then I added my other colors. I like a little bit of variation. I like the way that very thin paint kind of melds together and gives me some um, movement and interest. 
that very thin paint is gonna move very easily over the pearl paint. You can see I'm stretching it and just letting a very good amount of it drip off. We don't wanna puddle that dump paint. We just want it to cover over the pearl paint, let those pearls start to break through that thinner stretched paint, and um, hopefully you're gonna get pearls. Now I can already see the artist loft is starting to break through, and let's see if some of these other pouring mediums will have a similar reaction as I stretch that paint over all the corners, touch up any bald spots. Um, just looking at this time lapse, Artist Loft is doing much, much better. So I did take out my torch to help the other pouring mediums. Torching it does help to trigger reactions and um, make some cells pop up. But you can really see the Artist Loft is breaking through here. Uh, much, much faster than the other pouring mediums. And I didn't really realize that. So here is the result an hour later for my golden pouring medium. There is, I'm sorry, Liquitex, I said golden. There is no pearls whatsoever. Liquitex did not react. Here is golden. It took longer. We did get some pearls. You can see there's some interesting colors in there. Um, it was not quite the same um, vibrancy. It didn't break through. It didn't break through in the same little round way, but we got some. Then we have PBO. PBO was a close second to Artist Loft. I did get much bigger pearls than I would have expected. I'm not sure what the chemical reaction was for that. But here is the Artist Loft. You can see it just broke through immediately. There are so many pearls that you almost don't even see empty canvas that doesn't have pearls. So it is clearly the winner.